I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. Let me ask you a question, Fam. Do you remember Idi Amin, the third president of Uganda and a military dictator? He is considered one of the most brutal dictators in world history, has been referred to as the butcher of Uganda. Maybe you might have watched The Last King of Scotland. If you did, that's about him. I don't know how accurate the movie was because they have to put in sauce and make it spicy for the viewers, but you know, there are recorded facts and reports about Idi Amin. Um, he was not, um, let's say, a saint. So the reason why I bring him up today is because I want us to discuss something he has said during a speech. And I think it is true even till today in 2022. Love him or hate him, you could not ignore the man. Let's just say he was special. You know, as I said, there was even a movie that was made about him. That should tell you how special he was. He referred to himself as the conqueror of the British Empire. Which brings me to my point. Here's a clip of him warning African countries about inviting foreign militaries, especially those from the West. Watch the clip first, we'll come back and discuss. I have only come here for five minutes. I have come as a president of the Republic of Uganda, and also I am speaking as a great man who is the conqueror of the British Empire. I wanted to confirm to you I have, I have liberated my country economically, and uh, I am economically strong. And that is why I said I uprooted the British imperialism from Uganda and the Uganda is now pure Africa. We Africa, we have been weak because we allow ourselves, our brothers to go and uh, invite some country. But if the whole country in the continent of Africa can show an excellent example like uh, our beloved leader, His Majesty the King Hassan of Morocco, assisting, assisting, assisting President Mobutu when he is uh, uh, invaded. This is uh, some point which Africa can prevent to bring in the, uh, the, 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 the other troops from outside. But uh, some other country have been forced to get uh, European forces into Africa because they tried to ask some African country they don't want. Some African country were the ones who are confusing ourselves because we train gorillas against our country. We, uh, we, we force government to be in that. We want that particular liberation uh, leader to be the president of that particular country and that have complicated everything in Africa. You heard him, right? Like, that's exactly what's happening right now. He called it out as far as I'm concerned. He was telling African countries not to invite foreign troops to their land. And now we're seeing what's going on for ourselves. What are we seeing in Africa now? We're seeing British soldiers burning land in Kenya. And I've done this report. They were denying it after they burnt the land. And they even denied it. Thankfully, a foolish soldier, a British soldier, um, exposed them because he wanted to Snapchat and tell everybody their business and he admitted it so now they could not deny it they said it's accidental now Kenya is taking them to court so that they pay up and they can't even claim diplomatic immunity which makes us happy but it doesn't change the fact that after they burned that land the wildlife was affected thousands of Kenyans had to move outside of their house Kenyans had to pay the price for those foreign nationals being on their land Another example, French soldiers being kicked out of Mali and refusing to go out. Like, it's incredible how long like this has been going on. Eventually, now they claim that, okay, we've given up, we're leaving, but 
what did Mali just do? They've exposed them last week for uh, taking drone pictures, even though they were kicked out. They were still spying on Mali. Like, they were kicked out. The French troops were not supposed to be there, but they were still flying drones over Mali's military base. Same thing happened in Burkina Faso. People have been protesting the French soldiers and also Central African Republic. Same case. So, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's just the same thing over and over and over again and when when will we realize that they're they're not our friends like that's not good having a foreign um a foreign troop in your land cannot be a good thing and we should always try and develop our own instead of depending on somebody else's military troops and they have proved themselves because mali is accusing the french troops of spying on them not just that they believe that since the French troops arrived, the jihadists and the terrorists have increased in number and there's more chaos. Just imagine inviting them in to help you and then in, they make it worse. At least that's what they're claiming. So Idi Amin had a great point. The West are using their armies and militaries to cause and maintain chaos in Africa. It is to their benefit for Africa to remain in chaos. So maybe, as I said, Idi Amin had a point. Anyways fam, let me know down below what your thoughts are about this speech from Idi Amin who was not a saint as I mentioned. Let's just call him a special person. What are your thoughts about what he said and what we are seeing right now on the ground? I'm Angel Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.